What's up, barbecue crew? Welcome back to Outdoors with Jeff. Today, we're going to be making a great smoked mac and cheese on the Char Grill Auto Camaro for the holidays. Let's get to it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on into this cook. I've got the burners on my griddle set at medium and we're doing this outside and you can do this on the stove, but I'm taking about five tablespoons of butter and getting it into the pot here. And we're gonna let that melt down. And next I'm coming up with two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and I'm going to sift that in lightly. And we're gonna follow up and come and whisk that together and get this roux started. And we're just gonna keep going through and make sure we break up that flour. And you can see we got a little bit of a semi-boil going on and we've smoothed that out. And next we're gonna come back in with two cups of whipping cream. We're gonna pour this in lightly and whisk it as we pour. And we're gonna give that a nice stir. And now we're coming with our seasoning. So I'm taking a tablespoon of Creole seasoning, a tablespoon of Texas brisket rub seasoning, half a tablespoon of hot rub, a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And we're going to give this a mix with the whisk as well. You can see we've got that blended together. And next I'm taking a half a block of cream cheese and we're going to put that in and mix it up and incorporate that as well. Now I've shredded one pound of medium cheddar cheese and I'm going for medium here because I want to get more of a smoke profile in this cook but we're going to go ahead and put about 75% of this cheese in and then we're going to come with a whisk and start to blend that together until we get a nice cream mixture. And we've been going at it for a minute here and next I'm going to come back with a pound of Colby Jack cheese and again about 75% of that cheese until we get it nice and creamy like this. And now I'm going to add my one pound of macaroni in and I use the corkscrew on this cook to use what you like and we're going to blend that together as well. And next, we're going to come in and put a half a tablespoon of truffle oil. Now, a little bit of this goes a long way and you don't need much, but be sure and blend it in. And next, I'm gonna come back and I'm going to add bacon. This is about six slices that I've cut up and we're just gonna mix that on in. And at this point, I'm gonna take a cast iron skillet that I've buttered up and we're gonna go ahead and get this macaroni and cheese in there. And we're gonna smooth that out and get ready for the next portion of the cook. Now I have the auto Kamado running at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put in a couple of chunks of apple wood, which is gonna give us some great flavor. It's not gonna be overpowering, but you'll definitely taste it. And we've got that smoke going. So now it's time to get this macaroni and cheese on the grill. And we're going to let this cook for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes are up and I'm adding the rest of the cheese topping. We're going to let this cook for another 15 minutes. And 15 minutes are up and it's time to get this mac and cheese off. All right guys, another cook in the book. So let's have a quick recap of what we did. We started by creating a roux with 
five tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. And we heated that up and then we ended up adding in two cups of whipping cream, nutmeg, smoked paprika, Texas brisket rub, the hot rub, and some truffle oil. We then added our medium cheddar cheese and our Colby cheese and melted that together. And then we ended up adding our macaroni and then putting our bacon in there as well. We mixed that all together and got into a cast iron skillet and got it on the auto Kamado running at 350 degrees with some apple wood for smoke and we let it cook for 45 minutes. And here we are. And so guys, there's nothing else left to do. We get a taste test. It smells great and I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. And you get a lot of good flavors in here. Pardon me. <clears throat> you get a lot of good flavors in there. You definitely pick up these two rubs, but with us not having as strong a cheese, you really get that good smoke flavor from that apple wood. Definitely taste the truffle oil in there too. It doesn't take a lot that will make its mark and it has a great flavor and you also have the bacon in here and guys we all know bacon makes everything better but this is a nice quick and easy macaroni and cheese for the holidays but be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the cook that's all i got thank you for watching all right guys thanks for watching this episode of outdoors with jeff be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications when more content comes out and also check out these videos here on the channel as well.